Yo what's going on guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you how to make this black and purple outfit with the black joggers and the purple hood in GTA 5 online so I hope you do find this helpful or you enjoy, of course if you do feel free to leave a like. You can also add the purple duffel bag onto this outfit which I'll show you how to get in this video. Anyway, getting straight into the outfit, I'll show you how to get the black joggers. I'll show you two different methods. Also though, you can use the purple joggers if you do have those. First method I'll show you for the black joggers does require an MOC. The second method doesn't know, but you want to go to your MOC, start up the mission called Work Dispute, and then invite someone and start it up. You should load in with an outfit that has the black joggers, so from here you need to go to one of your apartments. Once you've made it to one of your apartments, go over to the blue circle, and if it doesn't let you inside your apartment, just place a sticky bomb and then blow it up and then when you respawn, it should let you in your apartment. From here, just go down to your wardrobe, and then save this outfit in your wardrobe. Once you have saved it, just quit the job using your phone, and then when you spawn in, you should be able to equip this outfit using your interaction menu as it would be fully saved. Next up is a job that you can bookmark to get the black joggers and CEO vest outfit, and save it as well. So I'll leave a link to this in the pinned comment. So just make sure you bookmark it and then restart your game and start it up if you haven't bookmarked it already. In this menu just invite someone and start this up. In this menu here just press ready to play. Now in the job just get out of your car and then open up your interaction menu and head down to appearance. Go to illuminated clothing and spam right d-pad for 20 seconds. After you've done that just quit the job using your phone. If you want to have modded cars and outfits with cash and rank then check the pinned comment below. Now when you load in what you want to do is go to any clothing store and save this outfit. Now to start off with making the outfit you want to equip your black joggers or the purple joggers if you have those or you can use any other black pants or purple ones and then from here go to shoes, go on sports shoes and equip the purple sports shoes. Now once you have these you just want to head over to the accessories menu and then on accessories you want to head down to gloves and go for the black woolen gloves. Now go on to tops and you want to head down to the bomber jackets then go for the diamond casino varsity. Now if you don't have this you can unlock it on the career progress menu by going to recreation then go to the diamond casino and resort. So you can see here it is tier 2 so you just want to complete the requirements and then you will unlock it then you can claim it and equip it. If you can't get it though just feel free to use any other black and purple bomber jacket. Anyway from here go and design the t-shirts and equip the black print t-shirt and then save this to slot number 1 then head down to the mask store. Over here just go on the hat section and you want to head down to the bulletproof helmets then go for the black bulletproof helmet and you want to go onto gas on the mask menu next then head down to the chemical mask and equip that one and then save this to slot number one again. From here just open up your interaction menu, head down to appearance, go onto outfit and equip the outfit we just saved a few times just to make sure the game saves fully. Now open up your pause menu, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, then start up any mission. Now when you load in you should have no mask and no helmet, that means it has worked so from here go to an ammunition store, however if you did spawn in with a balaclava you will have to restart your game and try this part again. Now inside of the ammunition store you want to go on any menu and then go ahead and save this outfit to slot number 1 so overwrite the save and quit the job using your phone. When you load in go opposite you into the ammunition store then you want to go into the outfit section. Now head down to onesies and you want to go for the purple onesie.
From here though, open up your pause menu, go to online, jobs, play job. This time you want to go on bookmarked, then head down to missions and start up it's a G thing. So you will need to bookmark this if you don't have it already. The link will be in the pinned comment for you to bookmark. So do that and then restart your game and it should appear. In this menu here, set the clothing to play a saved outfits and then invite anyone and start this up. In this menu here, you want to go on owned outfit and then scroll one to the right and then ready up. In the mission, you want to head over to one of your apartments, so they won't show up on the minimap, so you'll need to know where they are. Once you are inside of your apartment, you want to head over to the wardrobe and then go ahead and save this outfit in the wardrobe. So you can go ahead and save this to any slot that you want to and then quit the job using your phone. Once you load in, you can equip that same outfit using your interaction menu and you'll notice it is there fully saved. So from here, you can add a helmet and a rebreather or mask if you want to. Also, I'll show you now how to get the purple duffel bag if you want that on this outfit. So to start off, you want to make sure you have the Duggan robbery. And this is in your salvage yard, by the way. Anyway, getting into the actual purple duffel bag glitch, you want to go ahead and find the LS Panic outfits and this will be a robbery task on your map. If you don't have the tasks available just yet, you will have to complete the scope out mission. So you want to find a task that has an LS Panic outfit. So if you saw the top left, you have to press right D-pad and it did say LS Panic outfits. Um, so this one in particular, you just go into the Suburban and then you want to find the duffel bag on the floor. So for me, it was just over here, the purple duffel bag. So make sure you equip the outfit you want the purple duffel bag on. If your duffel bag wasn't where mine was, it can be anywhere else in the store. So just search the whole store. It's very simple to find though. From here, you're going to need a flying vehicle and then you want to go ahead and fly high above your salvage yard. Up here, just jump off your flying vehicle and then open up your parachute straight away. And now you want to land right on the golden circle. So straight into the back of your salvage yard. Now it should say task complete. So from here, you want to quickly go to any ammunition store. Once you've made it over to ammunition, you want to head inside and then go to the parachute section at the front desk. So go to the top left onto parachutes and then head down to parachute bags and you need to equip number 26. So just up here, number 26, once you purchase this, you want to go into your interaction menu and then go to parachute and set it to on. From here, you want to go on any flying vehicle once again, and then this time just fly quite high above the mask store. Once you're up here, you just want to jump off your flying vehicle and then open up your parachute straight away. Now you want to aim to land right in front of the mask store, so that when you land, you can spam right D-pad to get on the menu before your character takes off the parachute. So like I said, when you land, you want to spam right D-pad. So as you get up, spam right D-pad to get on the menu. And then from here, go ahead and save your outfit. And then once you go ahead and equip that outfit, you should notice it has a purple duffel bag on it. Anyway, that is going to be it for this outfit. So of course, if you don't want to, you don't have to use the duffel bags. So I hope you do like this and I hope you found this helpful. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day or night and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Take care.